hello guys welcome to my channel my name is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer like this using photoshop before any further ado let's get started here i'm using four by four inches and these are the tests I'm going to use in this tutorial. And here are the resources I'm going to use. Okay, now I'm going to copy this color code, which is 002C5D. Then go to your solid color. Then select here Ctrl plus V to paste. Now, this is the fonts I'm going to use. Then I'm going to copy this text here, Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the fonts to Railway. Select the bold one. Reduce the font size, then Ctrl A, apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect, duplicate, Ctrl plus J. Then reduce the font size. I'm going to copy this color code, select your test to Ctrl plus V to apply this color, then open the character spacing, Ctrl A, then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then use your arrow key to bring it down. All right. Now I'm going to bring this background image. Then you scale it out. Okay, now go to your filter, go to blow, Gaussian blow, then enter 13.9, then you click OK, then go to your blending mode, apply substrat, then leave the opacity at 100%. Then I'm going to import this clock background. Then go to your bloody mode, select screen. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity to 4%. Go back to the opacity. Then I'm going to make it around 6. Okay, you can see it now. This will be okay. I don't want it to be more sharp. Then I'm going to import this image. Then scale it out. Then apply your layer mask. Then you blend over here. Then you change it to add light. Then go back to your opacity. 
make it 11 then I'll go back to this clock background then I will take it back to 4 percent all right so click like this okay then select this ones then you group it and I'm going to rename it as a background then also group this one control plus G to group then I'm going to rename them then go back to your test and I'm going to copy this test control plus C select your test tool then control plus V to paste then reduce the character spacing I'm going to enter minus 60 then you change the font to intro line go back to your fonts again change it to intro line select the intro line okay increase it a little then I'm going to rotate it a little bit all right then I'm going to copy this one control plus C then control plus V to paste then change it to white background color then I'm going to change the font to this font here then you scale it out reduce it a little then you position it well all right then I'm going to apply a drop shadow then make it normal then the opacity 82 then the angle make it 109 I'm going to type it 109 then the distance 9 the spread 7 and the size I'm going to make it 8 okay so you, you can see the shadow there And I'm going to copy the team so as you can see I arrange everything with their color so that it will be easy for you then control plus video paste click on this 
אוקיי. Then I'm going to change the font. So here is the font Quintine. A control plus V to paste. Then change the fonts to railway. Then make it bold. Then bring it closer. Then you reduce the font size. Then the karata. All right. Then highlight it. Go back to your test. And I'm going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then Control plus V to paste. Then go back to your karata spacing. Then you open it. Then make it 20% or 30%, anyone you preferred. Okay. Then bring the pastor image this tutorial is going to be two category so here is the first category so after we are done to or with this one then we are going to the second category so stay tuned so what i did is to rasterize it then go to the property and I'm going to select remove background so now it is done then I'm going to convert it to smart object then go to here The picture will be more smooth than before. Then I'm going to adjustment. Then the brightness I'm going to make it 20. And the constraints I'm going to make it 5. So here is the vibrance plus 41 and the saturation plus 23. Now drag the image over here. So I'm going to scale it out. Bring it down. I'll see, scale it out. Make sure you arrange it properly as you want. Then I will group it. Then apply a new layer, go to your brush. Then I'm going to select a stroke brush. So 
so i made it available in the resource file so you can install it and make use of it Go to your background, change your background to white. Now you can apply it. All right. Then copy the test here. Before then, I'm going to bring this brush. reduce the size then you position it over here take it above the image reduce the size so like this i will leave it like this so you can position your own more better. Then I'm going to paste the test I copy. Then go to your font and change the font to railway. Then make it bold. Then reduce the font size. Then come again and copy your test. Then drag it to the left side. Okay. Then reduce the font size. Then select zero. Then click OK to so open the character spacing. Then select left alignment to make it equal now reduce the brush all right Ctrl G to group it. I rename it. Now I'm going to copy my date. Ctrl V to paste. Reduce the font size. Position it over here. Then import this icon. Now import this icon. Then 
then place it at the top of the test then press ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then select your test ctrl v to paste you bring it down so you can see the name of the fonts i use there then i'm going to copy the color code then paste the color code go back to your fonts and change the font name Then apply superscript. Then you bring it to this position and scale it out. Yes, okay. Now use your mouse to bring it down. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then type 10 pm. Then select this one and reduce the fonts. It's okay. Then bring the icon for time. Reduce the size. Then you position it at the top. Then you press Ctrl plus U. Okay. Now I'm going to group it together. Ctrl plus G. Then you rename it. So here is the brushes, so you will install it in your systems and make use of it. Then I'm going to import this icon for location. Then go back to your test. Then select your test. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool or you press T on your keyboard. Then change the fonts to railway and make it bold. Then reduce the font size. then reduce the space all right so here we are done with this stage so i'm going to group the location 
then rename it and I'm going to select it all while I hold my shift key and I will group it and rename it so what I do is to duplicate it control plus J and I'll turn this one off then open the one I duplicate then I'm going to change the background color before then I'm going to copy this color code which is 016561 then double click on it control plus V to paste then you click OK now create a new layer so instead of creating a new layer then the layer is already been made so what i will do is to import it so i will leave it like this So then go to the second layer, then now you change it to linear bond. So this one I'll leave it at normal. So you can see the effects of normal now. Then I'm going to create hue and saturation so on this first one i'm going to make it plus 33 then on the second one i'll make it plus 19 so the brightness then it's going to be minus 23 then clip it so then go to your clock background then make the opacity 7 then also change this one to multiply So now we are going to change the test background color. So on this one now, I'm going to copy this orange color. Then copy the color code here. Then you paste it. Then I'm going to change the color of the date. Then Ctrl V to paste the color we earlier copied. And I'm going to change this one to white. Go to time. Then you change it to white. Now select this brush. Then go to the brush. Right click. Right click. Then you rasterize it. Then apply white background color. Then change your 
mode back so that is all for the tutorial Then I'm going to scale out the image background there. Then I will also go back to the first one. Then I will open the background, select the image. Then I'm going to scale it out. So that is all for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please kindly subscribe, like, and share.